Hello beautiful people, welcome once again to Soul Lifting Meditations, a channel that is aimed at propagating the gospel of Christ across the nations of the world. So today I want to say a very big thank you to my subscribers. Thank you so, so much. You mean a whole lot to me. Thank you for stopping by to this channel. Thank you for watching our videos. Thank you for your support and your love to this channel. And also to our new subscribers, if you are new to this channel, please do well to like this video right now or at the end of this video. I promise you are going to love these videos and you are going to find it interesting and insightful. And I pray it ministers to you one way or the other. So please do well to like these videos and watch this video to the end. So today I'm going to be talking about beating bitterness. That is my topic for today. This is a message that I've written and I want to talk on today. Beating bitterness. Now, we all go through things that are not fair, things that are unfair to us. Probably uh, you have been offended by a friend, you have been offended by someone, you're battling one ailment or the other, you're battling sickness, or you, you know that you are due for that promotion, but it's not forthcoming. You know, so many things, one way or the other, might have happened to you that is making you bitter, that is causing bitterness in your life. I'm come here today to talk to you about how you can beat this bitterness. Now, if you hold on to hurt, going around dwelling on why did this happen to you? Why did this person leave your life? Why did this person leave this relationship? If you go on dwelling in the past, dwelling on what has been done to you that you didn't like one way or the other, going about dwelling, why should I be the one that this would happen to? Why, why will I fall sick? Why will I be the one to battle this ailment? When you keep doing this, you are dwelling in bitterness. You are hurting yourself the more. Now, you can't stop life from happening to you, but you can choose how to respond to these situations that are affecting you and causing bitterness in your life. When you are bitter, it affects every area of your life because bitterness poisons your attitude to the extent where you begin to see things in a negative light. So bitterness is not something you should keep dwelling on. Bitterness is not something you allow to take over your emotions, that you allow to take over your mind because it, it will make you sad. When you are bitter, you can never be happy. When you are bitter, you you'll always be sad. You always find fault in everything. You are never happy. Nothing good comes your way that you are happy about because you are, you are bitter. And the reason for this bitterness is because you keep dwelling in the past. It's because you, you, you feel hurt from something that must have happened in the past. Bitter people don't have good relationships. They get easily offended. Just a little thing and they flare up unnecessarily the flare up that is not you that is the bitterness coming out yes you may have a good reason to be bitter but holding on to it will make it worse bitterness will steal your dream it will steal your joy it could keep you away from your destiny if you are not careful so bitterness is not, is not something you should harbor. It makes your heart heavy. The longer you hold on to bitterness, the harder it is for you to get rid of. And the more you dwell on it, the more you relieve it. The more you let it bother you, the deeper you get planted in it. And the key 
to this is forgiveness. Forgive easily. Forgive quickly. Forgive no matter what the situation, no matter the hurt, no matter how you feel. Learn to forgive easily. And this way, you see that that bitterness in you will gradually wear out of you. Ask if you don't know how to forgive. There are some people that don't know how to forgive. If you find yourself in this situation, invite the Holy Spirit. Tell the Holy Spirit to, to help you. To help you forgive. And He will. Talk to God. Go to God in prayers. Tell Him that you want to be able to forgive. You want to let this thing go. Invite the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit will and most definitely help you to get out of that situation of not forgiving easily because bitterness is not something you should keep dwelling on just a little offense and you are able to ignore it it's very good but if just a little offense has been has been done against you and you you keep dwelling in it and start thinking of how you pay that person back someone offends you and you're thinking of how to pay this person back or maybe the next time you see the person you give a cold shoulder you are thinking and devising a means or a way of paying back whatever offense has been done to you you are nurturing the seed of bitterness and before you know this seed will germinate in you and it just keeps growing you see yourself being bitter it keeps growing so it is very important you learn to forgive quickly just ignore it it's not everything you should take as an offense not everything you should take as a big deal when you are offended and you allow that little seed of offense to grow in you when you allow it to germinate with you it will keep growing and at the end of the day it is going to pollute every other area of your life. So it is very important to le learn to let go. Learn to let go. Learn not to take too much offense in what people are doing. Learn to let go so that you don't, so that you don't allow that little seed of bitterness to grow in you or pollute every other areas of your life now here's the problem a bitter root produces bitter fruits so my question for you today is this when are you going to let go how long are you going to hold on to this bitterness how long are you going to hold on to this offense how long are you going to allow this offense to germinate in you and grow in you how long are you going to allow these offenses to pollute every other areas of your life to pollute your future how long why don't you start by letting go why don't you start by forgiving let go and forgive and you will see that great doors of favor will begin to open to you because bitterness closes the doors of favor. It, it shuts the hand of God upon your life. Bitterness is not a good thing. So why don't you start today? Think of it. Whoever who has offended you right now, who has offended you, just think, who is this person that you are holding grudges against? Who is this person that you are keeping malice sweet? Just think. Be the bigger person here. Grab your phone and call the person. You know, speak to them. Let them know if they, they are not aware that you're angry with them. Let them know. Just, you need, to, you need to let it go. Even if you don't want to call them, in your heart, just decide in your heart that, okay, today, I need to let this off my chest. I need to let this person go. I need to let this thing go. Because you cannot keep holding on to this. You cannot. I wonder how some people could keep grudges for years. Yes, 
There are people like that. There are people who have done this. It's not a good thing. How, how has it affected you? Has it brought any good thing? Has keeping, keeping malice or having, having been offended and you being bitter, has it helped you in any way? It will destabilize you. It will destabilize your whole emotions. And so why holding on to something that keeps you in a bad mood? Why don't you start today by letting go? Anyone has offended you, let go of that. Let go of that hurt. Let go of that pain. And if you're unable to do this, I pray that the Holy Spirit, as you, as you go to God in prayer concerning this, as you go to God, I pray that the Holy Spirit will empower you to, and help you to let go of every offenses in your heart, of every bitterness in your heart. So thank you so much for staying to the end of this video. I hope you find this video interesting and I hope you have learned something in this video today. So go about, spread love, share love to your neighbors, to your friends, to your loved ones. Don't spread bitterness. It's not a good thing. Thank you so much for staying by. Bye.